shattering the stigma that often surrounds getting help for mental health. That's Alice Jordan's mission. She wants everyone to think of treating depression or anxiety, just like you would treat any other medical issue like diabetes or cancer. So he said, Alice Jordan does more than teach students at Purdue Fort Wayne. She is an incredible advocate for mental health. She was instrumental in creating the school's new student counseling center. It just opened this school year. This is a place of permission and it's just a welcome place. You know, I've always wanted a place where students can come and to see that they can support each other and that they're not that only lonely person that is depressed or feeling that sense of anxiety. And what makes this program so unique is that the counselors that we have are our students in our counseling program. I champion mental health each and every day because I know from a student's perspective, you cannot be a good student unless you're mentally right. You know, we worry about being physically fit. Frankly, we cannot be physically fit unless we're mentally fit and vice versa. Her passion for helping others with mental health struggles comes out of her own journey. And as someone who has survived a suicide attempt, I didn't want to die. I just wanted my pain to end. And, you know, it was at a very young age. Um, I believe I was like 18 years old, 16, 17 years old. Alice still battles depression, but it's a fight she won't do silently. A big commitment to myself to share my story to share my platform of letting people know that it's okay not to be okay and it's okay just to be okay. You know, I end every class by saying this, remember to be kind to others, but more importantly, be kind to yourself and be kind to your mind. You know, students have told me that that keeps them going during the day. Her focus is not just on students, but on Latino and African American communities. I'm being Latina myself. I understand there are some cultural nuances, some cultural things that prevent us from getting help for our mental health. Number one, that prayer will answer it. Number two, you need to go talk to your minister. And number three, you never talk about it outside of the home. You don't even talk about it to your extended family. Through her work as the director of Indiana Suicide Prevention Coalition and running mental health summits and conferences locally and statewide, she's changing the narrative. Well, when somebody comes up to me, and says, thank you for saving my life. I don't know about you, but I never take that for granted. And people I've never met that have been in an audience that I've been in, because I spoke my truth, I stood in my, in my truth, and I just share. I mean, I'm not ashamed of my mental health because it's made me who I am today. The word I would use is a superstar. Gabby Miles my nominated her mom for Remarkable Women of Northeast Indiana. Whether you're looking at her through the lens of a mother, she's someone who will go to the ends of earth for her kids. If you're looking at her as a professor, she'll do anything to make sure that her students are prepared, regardless if it's for an exam, or if it's for their home life, or if it's for, you know, just another affirmation to tell them that they're okay. My mom's remarkable in any single board that she sits on, the 30,000 boards that she sits on. Um, she's maybe always busy, but she'll drop anything to be there for her kids or for someone who needs her. I don't think I'm that remarkable, honestly. Sharing her truth to give people a safe place to share theirs is remarkable. I wake up every day, ask God for the energy, the spirit, the momentum to make mental health like any other socially accepted illness. Recognizing what, what makes mental health work for people is what Alice does best. She is able to make an impact on so many people in their lives and it's just so remarkable and I admire her for that and I strive to be like that one day. You can see the stories of all four of our remarkable women of Northeast Indiana finalists right now on Wayne.com. We'll announce the winner at noon next Tuesday, April 2nd. Alyssa Ivinson, Wayne 15 News.